So let us load the built-in screen chip. So we look for a screen and here it is. Loaded it. I can uh, inspect the HDL code and see that uh, indeed the uh, screen chip is a built-in chip and it's a memory chip and uh, if I look at the input pins and the output pins I see that it has the typical memory chip uh, interface. It has an in uh, input, an out output, a, a load bit that must be asserted before uh, write operations and it has an address that enables me to select the register on which I want to operate. Well, another thing that we can observe is that the screen uh, built-in chip has a GUI side effect which is this uh, uh, panel here which represents or simulates a physical screen consisting of 512 columns and 256 rows and every one of these rows is represented in the screen memory chip by uh, 32 registers as we explained in the lecture. So let's say that we want to turn the first 16 pixels of row uh, number 3 to uh, black. So in order to do this we have to uh, get to the register that represents uh, the first 16 bits in row number 3 so we do 32 times 3 which gives us uh, 96 this is the address that we have to manipulate so uh, we write 96 in the address input we assert the load bit because we're going to write something into the memory and we have to write 1111 16 times and it turns out that uh, 111 16 times in decimal and uh, two's complement is minus one. If you're not convinced we can uh, turn the representation to binary and we see that indeed we got 16 ones. Let's turn it back into decimal which is easier to read and we see that um, you know it's very nice that we entered all these values into the memory but we haven't ran the clock so nothing really happened you know this is a memory, memory device so let's run the clock and we see that once we run it we get uh, uh, two things happen first of all the memory now contains this uh, value in address number uh, uh, 96 but also we have uh, the side effect of uh, uh, seeing uh, 16 black pixels at the beginning of row number three in the physical screen. Now let us write some other arbitrary value in some other arbitrary address in the screen so we go to the address input we pick up some arbitrary address like uh, 3035 3, and let's pick up some uh, arbitrary value like uh, 17 that we want to write into this address and uh, I'm not sure how many uh, ones we have in 17 let's uh, turn the binary on and uh, we see that we have only two ones so this is not going to be extremely visible but uh, in any rate let's run the clock and indeed we see that these two babies popped up right in the middle of uh, some obscure uh, screen location which uh, happens to correspond to the uh, register that we manipulated in the screen uh, memory map. So um, these two pixels obviously uh, correspond to the two ones that uh, happen to be the only two one bits in the binary representation of 17. So this has been a demo of manipulating the physical screen using the uh, respective memory map uh, the uh, screen chip that controls it.